What's up guys, this is Olemers, watch this video on 1080p for the best viewing experience. Today I'm doing a video on the Executives and Other Criminals DLC, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing and modifying every single one of these cars, so let's get started. I'm also going to be doing this stretch with a turret on it, so let's get started. Alright guys, so I am back. Every single car here that you see is from the new update. And I just wanted to explain something real quick. Some of these cars, I decided just to get the armored version of them. And the armored version is basically exactly the same, except it has different wheels, different paint, and it has these weird panels in it. I'm pretty sure they have the same speed. So, I'm just going to do a quick, quick walk around and show you guys these vehicles and the names of them. So, let's get started. None of these are actually modified yet. It actually take me a few hours to modify every single one of these, so I'm going to pull out a few from the garage and modify them. As you can see, these two cars are actually different, but they're both armored versions of the cars. And these two cars are different too, as you can see. I don't really know what the difference is from them, but first off, we're going to get into the kind of special cars. This car is the Nightshade, I'm pretty sure. So, I'm going to go upgrade this one, and probably upgrade those other two in this video. Alright, so here is the car, fully upgraded and everything. And before it wasn't too fast, and just from that, I can see it did a nice peel. That was all gas, no brake at all. And it has a NOS tank with, I don't know, the American flag colors because it's an American car. And this thing's actually pretty quick, look at this. I don't really know what car this is in real life because, to be honest, I don't really care too much about muscle cars. As you can see, this is obviously pretty fast and it looks pretty nice there are a lot of customization options with this car but i'm gonna get on to the next car so let's get into it so now we are in the bravado verlen or whatever i don't know it looks like a tvr i don't really know much about those cars so let's just go and upgrade this Alright guys, so it is now fully upgraded, and take a look at this. I didn't think it could look this good, and it does. Oh my gosh. Colored brake calipers. Oh my. Jeez, man. Alright, let's actually drive this thing. I didn't want to change the wheels because they actually look nice. only thing is, I wish I could color the stock wheels. So, let's get a quick speed test. Acceleration is good. Just like I expected, I mean... Holy cow. You know, I need to do some speed tests to see how quick this is compared to like other supercars, but I haven't played this game in a while, so. 
remember how fast the T20 and all those cars are, but I know that this is pretty fast. Okay, so now we are on to the Mamba. Alright guys, so now we have finished upgrading the Mamba. To be honest, there wasn't really too much to upgrade about it, but... And also, I, st or I kept the stock color because I thought it was nice. Let's take a listen. So, it seems louder than before. And let's just see how fast it is. Alright, so... If you guys don't know, they added the double clutch, or that's not really what it is. It's a uh, downshift, basically, with automatic transmission in this game. They added it back in because it was removed in the last update. And, yeah, it works great now. Just look how fast we can go. Uphill, we do a mad peel. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Alright, guys, I accidentally forgot one car, but I remembered it. So, here's the stretch... Let's just see how it drives, and then we'll try the turret on top. It actually doesn't seem that slow. A lot faster than the other limo, I can guarantee that. But the other limo is longer, I'm pretty sure. So, this might actually be like the same speed as a normal Schwarzer. I am getting some frame rate drops, and people are running in the road. That's nice. I don't know why. You have to order this vehicle from Pegasus to actually use it, and because I don't think I can use the turret unless I have someone else with me, I'm not going to use it. I'm pretty sure it's just like any other turret, like on the planes or anything. So instead of me using the turret, I'm just going to hit this jump for you guys. Why not? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the armored version. If you didn't already know, well, there's only one version of the stretch, and it's the armored version. Just thought I should clarify that. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you think I deserve it. If you haven't already, go check out the other two videos that I made today. They will be in the description linked. See you next time.